today Moon Knife and I are excited and uh, that is because I have decided to treat myself to something and get it open and see what, what it's all about. As you can see, it's just revealed itself. It's a Yamaha Reefus DX. <laughs> I'm excited! <laughs> because I've been wanting this for a while actually. Okay, this is MIDI splitter. We'll get to that. I want to see the actual thing. <laughs> and these are the leads. And the power supply. Okay. Oh, boring parts. Boring parts. Let's get the interesting part. Okay, let's get everything out of the freaking box first. Okay, so you have here an instruction manual. Wow, an actual instruction manual. And this is much needed because I have not messed around with a synthesizer before. Not at all. So this is my first time and I'm gonna have to get used to... I mean, I know I know some of the terminology of synthesizers, but I've never messed with one before, so... And it's one of the reasons why I actually got it, because of its small size, its compact size. Because it's, it, it's a remake of the DX7, the Yamaha DX7, which is, you know, Freaking huge thing. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. This looks good. And this feels good. The buttons feel solid. Everything is. I see even got two speakers. So I'm gonna plug it in and, and give it a go. Okay, so the back of it here, it has the DC in 12 volts, it comes with power adapter. It has a power switch, it has a sustain pedal input, it's got outputs which are you know mono left or stereo if you want to use both, it's got headphones out, it's got auxiliary in if you want to connect another keyboard or if you want to connect you know your sound device or anything like this. This is a bi-directional MIDI port and it's got it's basically a mini DIN cable and um, this is something which I wanted to know, and uh, I couldn't find for a, you know, and I had to search for it in reviews, and um, it wasn't mentioned as much. So I'm gonna, you know, put it out there and mention it. Okay, so you plug the mini DIN in here, the mini DIN plug, and it gives you MIDI in and MIDI out. So it's a splitter cable here, and this is something which I wanted to know. Does it have MIDI in and out, or does it just have in? Does it just have what does it have? You know, I'm, I was not sure. But I'm glad it has both, so, and I'm glad it comes with this. So you have um, a USB if you want to connect it to the computer. I'm, I'm assuming that this is a MIDI as well. You know, it's then you connect it to your computer, it connects to it as a MIDI device. At the back, underneath it, it comes with a battery compartment which fits six double A's. So, you, you know, this thing is really portable. And um, everything is a good quality plastic. It's just very good quality. It's I'm not gonna bend it and warp it so much, but take my word for it. It's, these these are the controls for the synthesizer, the editing and the selection and and uh, because you can edit your own sounds and program them and save them. And uh, I need to I need to figure out how to do this, which you know the the manual is gonna really help me. Okay, there are four keyboards available in this modern Yamaha range. There's a Reefus YC, Reefus CP, DX, and CS. I have the DX, and uh, if I were to get another one, I don't think it's gonna be <laughs> anytime soon, I would get the Reefus CX, because it kind of reminds me, the sound from it is a bit like Amiga Sid kind of thing, <laughs> which, you know, I like that. Okay, there we go, it's on. Oh, that is good sound. You can actually feel the sound vibrate. That is just from the small speakers and that is kind of impressive. So it's the octave. You get the octave, right? Basically, it's the entire DX7 synthesizer on this thing, and uh, that's what 
and it makes it cool because it's in a small package. I have to say the internal speakers, they are tiny but they sound amazing. I'm still getting used to this. I need to kind of figure out what I'm doing here. A lot of bands in the 80s used this. So you'll notice in a lot of the 80s sounds. The DX or the DX7 is basically just like an FM synthesizer. So you can, you know, you have your banks of sound here. And um, you can, you know, create your own and store it as, you know, presets. And um, yeah, you can program this thing. You know, it's, as I said, it's an FM synthesizer. If I can say that correctly, <laughs> it's an FM synthesizer. What I need to do is, this is just an unboxing and I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing everything blindly and uh, maybe practice a little bit too because I'm rusty. I haven't played properly for, I haven't actually properly played for a long time. I'm talking many years, so um, I need to kind of, you know, brush up on everything. The keys are small, but they are sturdy. I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> it's been years since I've actually played on any sort of keyboard. But that was a quick demonstration of how it actually sounds when connected directly to your ears. Other than standalone, I'm planning to use this keyboard predominantly with my Amiga as a MIDI controller. Also as a source for samples, because once I learn the ins and outs of synthesizing sounds, I can create my own samples. As I mentioned, this is my first experience with a synthesizer, so this is by no means a professional review. Rather, a watch me learn or learn with me kind of thing. And yes, I will be using the Amiga quite a fair bit in this DX Reface Exploration series. So that is all for today, because it'll be a little pointless uh, continuing, because I have absolutely no idea about this. I've literally taken it out the box, so I need to actually go and mess around with this, and uh, learn about it, explore it, and then come back and show you all that I've learned. So that will be in the next part. So do stick around for that. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares, and do leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, to subscribe for more. And also, do click on that bell icon if you wish to no have notifications of when I've next uploaded a video. So for now, I will say adios.